Having good audio is so important for your videos. We would say that audio is 50% of your video. However, when you start stepping into the wireless market, you end up running into two problems, and that is price and quality. Typically, good wireless solutions would be very expensive, and if you start to cheap out, you're gonna notice it in your audio quality. That's not the case with the Rode Wireless Go 2. When it comes to the price and the features, you're literally getting the best deal that you can get right now in the market. And so we're gonna be breaking down all those features and more in this video, so let's get it. You gotta just press record. Hey, what's up? It's Omar Takori with Think Media, helping you build your influence with online video. And on this channel, sometimes we'll do camera reviews. Other times we'll talk about lighting and audio solutions, uh, just like this video. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. Now, before we get into some real world tests with the Rode Wireless Go 2, I just wanted to let you know that audio is one of the best investments you can make. In addition to lighting, these are the two things that you can invest in upfront and not have to worry about upgrading in the future. Because once you get something good like the Rode wireless go to or an awesome light you'll never have to upgrade ever again unlike cameras which drop heavily in price over the years and new cameras always coming out with better features that's not usually the case with audio and so with that being said let's jump in some tests with the Rode wireless go to so right now you are listening to the Rode wireless go to clipped onto my shirt and uh, really the heart of all these tests that I want to show you is to give you an idea of the different ways that you can use the Rode Wireless Go 2. Obviously, it'd be easy to just clip on the mic on Amanda's shirt and then see how that sounds, but it would sound very similar. So uh, I wanted to do a quick test on what it would sound like if you use it as a handheld mic, which Rode sells this accessory for around $20, and it actually turns one of the mics into a handheld mic, which is really cool. So let's just say you're doing some teaching and you're doing Q&A and a mic's getting passed around and now the audio is getting baked into the uh, video file. And so I asked Amanda the question, what is it like being married to Omar al -Takori? It's the best. New things every day, keeping me on my toes. <laughs> Should there be more? <laughs> hey, what's up? It is Coach Omar, and this is an audio test with the wind muff that's built into the mic, put on the mic, clipped onto my shirt. And if you're doing educational content that's requiring you to move around, this is an idea of what it'll sound like. Obviously, best case scenario, don't shoot when it's windy, but why not see how it takes the wind? Uh, and let's see how it sounds with a little bit of motion. All right, so when you grab the ball and you get in your triple threat position, you wanna swing to the left and then take your dribble and then go ahead and lay it up. Dang it. So this is an audio test in a fairly large open space. You can see I have it clipped on my jacket, so it's hands-free, but this would be great for maybe a realtor who's gonna show a house, turn their back from the camera, walk into different spaces, keep a good distance from the camera, but you can tell that it's still picking up sound. Um, and again, this is in an untreated large space. All right, so you know maybe you're an entrepreneur and you got some content creators filming you and you just wanna film yourself maybe uh, while you're driving and talking. This is how it's gonna sound. Uh, they got the mic clipped onto my shirt and uh, it sounds pretty good. Um, all that to say, make sure you're safe when you do this. You don't wanna get into an accident you know, while you're doing a you know, motivational talk. Oh shoot! So before we talk about the features of the Rode Wireless Go 2, the price of this at the time of shooting this video is $300, which is a great price for something like this and for something as reliable as this, knowing that it is wireless. Now, originally the Rode Wireless Go came out at uh, $200 for a single kit, and that was only the use of one microphone. And so if you wanted to, you'd have to spend another $200 get a splitter cable, get a mount that allows you to hold both receivers on your camera. And so you end up spending a lot more. So for 300 bucks right off the bat, that is incredible for a two person wireless system. Now you don't have to use it for two people, but knowing that you can when you do invest into this setup is really cool. As far as what you get in the package, you get a nice little carrying case that can hold everything in it. Then you obviously get the aux cable, your USB charging cable, as well as two wind muffs that can go on top of the mic when it's clipped onto your shirt. Now, I would say I'm not the biggest fan of this just being clipped onto your shirt as it is pretty weird in shape and it's pretty thick. It works a little bit better when it's on a jacket, kind of like this, but I think best use is to actually get a lav and so you can actually hide it the way you want to or make it more subtle when you're wearing a t-shirt. But you can look at all the best uh, links down in the description below if you wanna check out any updated pricing or other kits they put together on Amazon. So the features list when it comes to this lavalier setup is pretty long. I'm pretty impressed at what all this 
can do, especially for the price. The first thing is that you have the option to record mono or stereo simply by holding down on the button. You can record your two mic to two separate channels, meaning one will be on the left channel, the other will be on the right. And then when you're editing the video, you'll just duplicate that and then fill the audio accordingly. If that's a little over your head, you can figure it out when you buy it. Or if you want it to be more simple, you can record stereo, meaning both mics are gonna be on the same audio channel. The reason why you would probably wanna shoot in mono is if you were shooting an interview, and let's say you were just a little bit louder than the person you were interviewing, or maybe if you're doing weddings or something like that, and the bride is a little bit more quiet than the minister or the groom, you have the ability to turn up whatever audio was lower. However, if you shoot in stereo, you're kinda locked in at whatever the audio is recorded at. My next favorite feature has to be the fact that you can record onto the receiver itself. And if you download the Rode Central app, you can access all those high quality audio files, which is just super cool that this works as a recorder. So maybe you're shooting a project that requires multiple cameras. It's just nice to have the one audio file and then you could sync it up in post with all the scratch audio files from the cameras. Another cool use case for this is if you're just on the go and you're recording podcasts. And so if you wanted to shoot an interview, you can do that and just roll up to whatever hotel hotel room or coffee shop or what have you, record a conversation and without even having the video on, you're able to record on the device itself. It's also really important to know that just having backup audio is key. And so even if you are recording into your camera, the fact that you can have the piece that you're recording onto the device just in case something were to happen is really nice to know just in case something were to happen. You can actually record up to 24 hours onto the receiver itself if that's how you're capturing audio, which I think is more than enough space for recording audio. Also in the Rode Central app, there's some customizable settings when it comes to the way you view your audio levels. You can change it from actual levels like with the bars to decibels so you see numbers, which is a lot more helpful and that's kind of like how I like to see it. And really just more than anything, I love when you get software with a hardware purchase. It's just nice to know whether you wanted to update your firmware or just do a little bit more with something you purchased. I just appreciate when uh, brands do this with their equipment. The next awesome feature is the fact that you can use this as a USB mic. And what I mean by that is you can use the USB-C port on the receiver and run your audio to whatever device you'd like, whether that be your smartphone, tablet, computer or laptop. And so if you actually have a USB-C to USB-C, you could plug it right into your laptop or computer and actually capture your audio and use it for maybe Zoom calls, record voiceovers and things like that. This is awesome to know because now you're not only buying a wireless lavalier solution for your camera, you're also buying a USB mic that you can use for other things as well. Rode also makes some specific cables for specific needs. And so if you have an iPhone, you can get their USB-C to lightning uh, cable for the Rode Wireless Go and then plug straight into your iPhone and get your audio into your video or your audio, whatever audio recording app you use, which is really nice to know that you can use it that simply. Again, in the past, you would have to use certain adapters. You would have to use different cables. It would just be a little bit too much for the average person, but literally for $300, I don't think you can actually beat this value. And the Rode Wireless Go 2's audio quality, as you heard earlier before, is phenomenal. Sounds great. You don't need anything any better than that, in my opinion. But let me know down in the comments below what you think about this microphone solution, wireless microphone solution, and what you think about the price point of $300. I think it's an incredible price point. We were using a, a wireless solution for a while when we were doing conventions like CES and NAB and that was about a $1,000 solution. So $1,000 getting you just one mic. And so for $300, I think this really can't be beat. And for the audio qual quality you get out of it, it's incredible. I think, and I would deem this, the ultimate best wireless lav mic solution because of all the features, the use cases, and the fact that you can also use it as a USB mic to plug in and level up your Zoom calls and things like that. Like, what better mic solution than the only one you have to make? And even if you are just looking for one mic, might as well get this just in case you so happen to record two people on camera, or maybe you have one clipped up on you and then you're recording the audio somewhere else. I'm just thinking about all the use case scenarios that you can use with this mic. All that to say, how would you use this mic? Let me know down in the comments below and what you think about the value of this mic. If you wanna see another video from Think Media, go ahead and click or tap the screen. And I can't wait to see you in a future video. Peace.